Hi, it's Alvin. And today we're going to do a very quick uh, vlog about, you know, one thing that I saw recently. It was yesterday, Kay Brosas, one of the celebrity moms, actually confessed to the world and to her followers that her daughter is actually lesbian. And it was a very loving video and we saw how she loved her daughter. And for, for this vlog, I'm going to talk about what can parents do uh, for their LGBT kids. So I'm going to give you some tips and, I, and I'm going to highlight some of those in what we saw from Kay Brosa's uh, vlog that she posted uh, yesterday. So the first thing is you have to let them know that they are loved and they are accepted for who they are. So that's the first thing. So as parents, you need to let them feel that you are sincerely express your love and understanding to them. You may not understand everything yet fully, but you definitely understand that they are going through such a hard time and you are there as their support system. Okay, so you might want to say that I am here for you, I love you, and I will support you no matter what. And makita po natin yun sa sinabi din mismo ni Kay uh, There's no right or wrong in expressing love. There's no right and wrong in expressing yourself. Because after all, it is who you are that you, you know better okay, than other people. Next is you have to encourage dialogue. That's the next thing that you want to do. You want to talk to talk about it. Okay, you want to let your child uh, speak up their 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 thoughts, their emotions. Okay, and you know sometimes you just let them vent out. Okay, because it was a very difficult and rough time for them, and it is your role as a support system and as parents to understand also where they're coming from. Okay, and from that experience you also will learn more about your child and you will learn about more more about sexuality and when you encourage dialogue you would want to be more curious about their life experiences without having to judge now, so napaka importante po nun, uh, a non-judgmental tone or sometimes you know the non-judgmental uh, verbal, non-verbal cues. So, ito po yung mga action natin. These are the, the tone of voice that you, that you use. These are the, the choices of words that you use. These are the, the mannerisms, okay, that sometimes you are not aware that you're doing that actually has a huge impact to your child. Let's say, for example, you're having a dialogue with your child who is actually, you know, just expressing his or her sexuality. Just who or who just came out and then you one of your your words is i understand you you i know where you're coming from you follow that first step but the tone of your voice is very much different the tone of your voice is uh, kita. Okay lang yan. Yeah. so it's very impersonal uh th there ha there's no connection there there's no sincerity there so your child might not be able to appreciate uh, that that you know that gesture and these conversations with your children uh, will you know imprint in their lives for a long time it will make them you know appreciate your presence more and they'll they are going to open up more about what they're going through uh, as they grow older and then at the same time it will make your relationship stronger how should I get to make them talk about it because I don't know I wasn't trained to actually open this topic to to my children because you know honestly I, I wasn't even trained when when I was uh, in her or his age because I grew up in a very conservative family so well the first thing is that you need to process all these things first by yourself okay kailangan ikaw din mismo ready ka na uh, you should be able to to process those things ahead of time uh, you should be a little you know be more open uh, of what you're going to hear from them when they started speaking you should also be more patient when they are not yet ready to actually open up those things to you sometimes uh, it's nice to actually 
uh, bond together over a movie or over some interest that you both uh, like doing and then for example when you're watching Netflix and and that's a good start you know because in Netflix there are a lot of diverse characters and representations there uh, especially LGBT representation and that's a good starting point uh, it might go like this so when you're watching Netflix and then when you saw a certain character you might want to explore the opinion of your child by actually asking this question na anong tingin mo dun sa character na yun? alam mo okay naman yun sa akin may anong problema yung mga ganong klaseng tao eh. as long as ano ah, hindi ka umaapak sa sa uh, sa iba uh, as long as mabuti ka naman you know, wala nang problema sa akin na kung sino mong mahalin mo that's a good take off point from what you are actually watching okay it's a bonding time and at the same time, it's also a good opportunity for you to get your children or to get your child uh, talk about um, their life experience. Uh, next, you need to learn the facts. You need to do your assignments. Hindi po pwedeng kailangan namanggaling lang lahat from the side of the children. You also have to learn uh, from the process. So if you think that your, or your children are actually or one of your child is is an LGBT. You need to brush up, okay, and study them. Why is it important for you to actually study uh, these things? Una sa lahat because it will make you more sensitive with the use of the terms, okay, and the words. So what do you mean by this? When you become more sensitive in knowing such terms, you do not make them feel uncomfortable by you know blurting out some words that might turn them off for example ito yung common natin naririnig no from our parents or even from friends no they keep telling you it's just a face nako dadaanan mo lang yan ano lang yan uh dinadaanan lang lahat ng mga ano yan mga, uh, mga teenager yan lilipas din yan that line in itself is a dismissal of their sexual orientation and their gender identity and you know, that gives them the impression that you are actually not open to discuss these things. And then next is to talk about a cure. You know, it's like equating that their sexual orientation, gender identity, and their sexual uh, and gender expression is actually a disease that needs, you know, gamot. Like, it's like a pandemic of some sort, an infectious disease that needs, you know, some cure. And that you know it's going to give them the impression that they're broken next would be uh refraining from a blame culture so what do you mean by refraining from a blame culture so if we sabihin ito is we you know parents or adults or friends of lgbt youth tend to find blame for whatever happened to their child okay or to their friend but since this vlog is about you know parents of LGBT youth, so you know, yah, kasi yung tito mo yun, trans in the blood ng mga ano, side ng father mo yun, mga ganon. So it's you know putting a blame on something or someone. So again, uh, instead of celebrating them and and their being more open of their sexuality to you you now become more defensive and that's going to throw them off right next you need to stay in touch and be involved with uh, their school activities okay and you need to get in touch with the people that that they are usually with all right so ano pong ibig sabihin so you might want to become more active in advocating for um, inclusive, okay, uh, in, uh, inclusive education, and you know, talk more about um, the the effects of school policies and you know, school regulations to LGBT youth. Okay, like for example, school, uh, use of school uniform, prohibition of the use of of cosmetics, no, so makeup, the use of of CR, no? so, ayan po yung mga issue na nararanasan ng mga LGBT youth in school, okay? And then, you also need to be more constantly in communication with 
teachers. Okay, because uh, teachers are the second parents. Okay, and somehow they they actually are aware of what the students are going through. If you have constant communication with you know, with teachers, it will also give you an idea of what's happening actually with your child. You advocate also for a more inclusive and comprehensive sexuality education in the school. Uh, isa po sa mga naging uh, challenge natin today because we don't have this yet, even though the Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Law has been passed for how many years already? So it's more than five years, and it's actually it's, uh, nearing a decade. And then you know we don't have any comprehensive sexuality education yet in basic and secondary education and tertiary education even. So napak important po nun. okay? Uh, and then also hindi lamang yung comprehensive sexuality education sa mga young people, but also a comprehensive sexuality education for parents like you, because you know knowledge is power. And of course, uh, isa sa makailangan po natin gawin is do not hesitate to speak up against discrimination and stigma once you see it. Once you hear it from, you know, uh, classmates, you hear it from relatives, you hear it from friends, uh, and, and you know, if these jokes or these statements or remarks make your child uncomfortable, don't hesitate to speak up and defend them. It makes them, you know, it makes your children feel that your acceptance is true and you are ready to defend. Okay, whenever your your children are in the in danger okay, of being stigmatized and discriminated. The next thing that you need to do is you have to look out for signs of bullying. Uh important po nito, especially if uh, your children are still very young. The anti bullying act is uh, or was enforced years ago. And in that anti-bullying act, kasama po doon ang uh, provision ng bullying against on, or on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. However, uh, the enforcement and the monitoring of this law is still something that we need to work on. You might want to look into the science of uh, or the effects of bullying among LGBT youth. So una, um, you need to look out for declining grades, okay? So declining grades might be an indication that your child is actually emotionally and psychologically uh, disturbed, all right? So, and then next you need to look out for unexplained absences. So if your child has been late, tardy, and always absent for, for unknown reasons, Okay, or wala na siyang ganang pumasok, so baka nakaka-experience na siya ng bullying in school. Next is the sudden shift, okay, from um, who's a friend and who's not. Okay, so for example, um, barkada sila and then they're very close and suddenly biglang hindi na siya nakikipag-communicate with this group of friends. Okay, so maaaring nakaka-experience siya ng bullying. No? We are not sure if that bullying is coming from that, that, that specific group of friends or it may be coming from another group of individuals. However, that's an, that might be an indication that he or she might be bullied in school. And then, baka isa din sa kailangan mong i-look uh, out is yung engagement niya with risk behaviors. So, for example, if your, your child is now engaged in smoking, uh, you know, drinking alcohol more uh, often, or drinking, uh, starting drinking alcohol, um, or worse, you know, using drugs, okay? or perhaps um, jumping from one sexual partner to another. Okay, this might be an indication that your child is emotionally and psychologically disturbed. And then, of course, behavior change. Okay, behavior change. Like, for example, uh, your child before was outgoing and um, uh, very quirky, happy, talkative, and then suddenly, bigla na lang siyang naging tahimik, naging may pagka-introvert, lagi na lang nasa loob ng kwarto, hindi na nagsasalita, then that might be an 
indication that your child is being bullied in school. And lastly, uh, that you need to look into is if your child is having disciplinary or behavioral problems in school. Okay, so that's the, quite the opposite of, of the earlier state. Um, always remember that you are in this together. You and your child are in this together. You are a team. Okay, so you always have to tell that to your child and remind that to your child that whatever that he or she is going through, you are a team and that no person is left behind in a team. So you just have to make them feel that you are the support system that he or she can trust. Okay, and that support system will never leave them whatever happens. You need to celebrate diversity in all forms. Okay, you need to to celebrate your child, celebrating their, you know, existence, celebrating their uniqueness and looking into the more positive side of, of your children because you know being LGBT is not negative. Lastly, uh, it's it would be better for you to reach out for information uh, like this, no? like um, this video and other materials out there in the internet, read articles, um, watch more videos perhaps that will help you understand more of, of how to reach out to and understand your LGBT kids. Kita na po natin kung paano po hinandal ni Kim Rosas po yun. No? And lahat po yun na, ng sinabi ko and some of them actually she uh, already manifested. No? Pinakita niya that she accepts Crystal in, in f for who she is. She also defended her sa mga bashers. No? She stood up for her. She cried with her. So she was empathetic. She feels her pain. Uh, and then she knows what she's going through and then she offers herself. She also took time to understand the culture. She took time to understand and you know uh, learn the language and learn the terminologies because she's worked with a lot of LGBTs okay? and that made her more sensitive and aware and responsive. Uh, the challenge now is dealing with the people around them. Okay. Pero sabi pa nga niya, mga demonyo kayo. <laughs> she doesn't really mind. Okay. And what we need right now is more support and more love for people and in, in, in making a, a more inclusive uh, community, a more inclusive generation f for our children to come. To make them realize that this is a world that you know they can celebrate diversity and to become a more inclusive human beings for development so until then thank you very much if you like this video comment below kung ano po ang mga pananaw. if you have lgbt kids or kayo ay nahihirapan to actually process or how to talk to your kids you can post below i might be able to help you out kung paano po kayo magre reach out or perhaps you are uh, an lgbt kid and you don't know how to disclose to your to your parents you might be having some problems so maybe i can you know give my opinion one or two of them it might be helpful to you okay so do subscribe like and share this video to your friends and to your family members until then and uh, thank you very much i'll see you